Welcome back. And in this video, I'll show you how to make Joel Greenblatt's magic formula in Google Sheets using FMP and web scraping, as well as use his screening method to find stocks that fit his formula. First, let's take a look at who Joel Greenblatt is. American academic, hedge fund manager, investor and writer, value investor, professor at Wharton and Columbia. Pretty good. He's a hedge fund called Gotham. Let's take a look at it. Whale Wisdom. Gotham Asset Management, currently $3.7 billion assets under management. Take a look at some of their highest conviction positions. Okay, looks interesting. So Greenblatt is popular for his magic formula, which he discusses in his book, The Little Book That Beats the Market. He was also featured in Jack Schwager's Market Wizards Hedge Fund, which I highly recommend reading. Next, let's take a look at putting the magic formula to use. Go back to Google Sheets, open a new sheet. Okay, first, we'll use cell A1 as our variable. Today, we'll use Walmart. So the Joel Greenblatt's magic formula. Okay, merge, center, make a bit bigger, bold. Okay, this company is index, FMP quote, point back to A1 for one year. Close parentheses. We're indexing the second column, second row. Walmart, center these two, make this bigger. 14, bold, and this will be our only variable, so we'll make it blue. Okay, step one, we need return on capital. Grab our formula, center, merge. Okay, so for our formula, we need EBIT divided by networking capital plus net fixed assets. And Joel Greenblatt discusses the magic formula as being good companies with cheap prices. So for the return on capital, we need EBIT. And so for this, we're gonna need the income statement and we'll do the quarterly. For here, we'll go equals, transpose, FMP, income statement, call back to A1, do four quarters, close parentheses, enter. Okay, there's our income statement. Okay, before we move on, we need to turn this into trailing 12 months. So we'll make a TTM column, come down here, equals, sum, double click the box. Okay, now we can get our EBIT. For this, we're gonna need our income before taxes plus our interest expense. Turn that into a number. Next, we need networking capital and net fixed assets. Okay, for this, we're gonna need the balance sheet. So we'll do that over here. So we can just grab Control C, Control V, turn this into balance sheet. Okay, for networking capital, we're gonna grab our last quarter's net receivables plus our inventory and minus out accounts payable. Okay, next we need net fixed assets. For this, we'll go equals and we'll take PP&E. We're assuming with PP&E that depreciation has already been netted out, so we'll only take this for now. Okay, with that, we have our return on capital and our ROC will be EBIT divided by networking capital plus net fixed assets. We could turn this into a percentage, put a box around it. Okay, great. Next, we need step two, which is earnings yield. And for this, we'll need EBIT or earnings before interest and taxes. And we can just take it from the cell and we'll need our enterprise value or EV. FMP gives that to us. So we can use our API to call on that. To do so, we'll go index, FMP key metrics. And we'll do TTM, go back to cell one one year, and we're gonna index 211. And that'll give us our enterprise value. Okay, next we need our earnings yield, which is EBIT over EV. Turn that into a percentage. Okay, pretty good. Just drop a formula there. Next, we can give ourselves an indicator or a signal for each of these. So first, we'll start over here, collapse those cells. In this case, we'll do if our return on capital is greater than 15%, then buy, and if not, sell. You center it big, okay. And 15% is variable, you can use whatever you like. Next, we'll do our earnings yield merge. And for this, we can just copy it, paste that over, and we can reduce this to 5%. And we'll add some conditional formatting to it. This will be if both of these text is exactly sell, show red, buy, and green, okay. All right, next we can view, show, turn grid lines off. And next, we can screen for stocks using Joel Greenblatt's method. To do that, we can use Finviz. And here, I've already got the presets set up. And what Greenblatt calls for in this screener is countries in the US, no ADRs, a low PE, a market cap of large, in this case over 10 billion, and then return on assets over 25%. And that'll narrow it down when we start to pull out 
return on capital, we'll be able to target uh, companies that are efficiently run. So we can test this out, sort by low PE. We can copy this. We'll bring this over to our spreadsheet, paste it in here. So we know Walmart's not doing great. Take a look at some of these other names. STLD, bye bye, very nice. mRNA, good. Generon, biotech, yep. AMAT, nice. Lamb Research, Semiconductor, and Qualcomm. Okay, that's all I got, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.